Good evening. I am a mere clump of cells. And tonight we'll be feeding you lies you can trust about the Supreme Court's abortion ban, why people freaking out and protesting outside the homes of judges is a good thing, why the CDC's been tracking you, and why you should believe what Bill Gates is telling you now. We'll also share what Bill Gates' dad did. But first, over the weekend, America celebrated Mother's Day, which is a far-right holiday rooted in hate meant to suppress birthing people. I think all of us on the left would agree the human race would have a much better future if there were no more mothers in the world. After all, mothers are the ones who choose not to get abortions, and those type of people deserve no respect. But here's the type of woman we'd like to instruct you to admire. A thing of beauty. And let's contrast that with this vile woman who is filled with hate. This monster is demonstrating this evil in the wake of the Supreme Court leak, which shows it may very well overturn Roe versus Wade. What happened there? Well, someone accidentally leaked out a preliminary report that shows the Supreme Court will likely overturn Roe versus Wade. Why would they do that? Well, we, of course, don't know and sincerely wish the leak didn't happen. <sighs> Definitely didn't happen because the left wants to radicalize people into emotional hysteria in order to get more people to come out to vote for their high power candidates in the midterms because the polls are showing they're sagging further than Bill Gates' tits. But because it's happening, we kind of do hope it drives more rageful leftists to the polls. Whoops. Perhaps seeing all the vile, rageful leftists who have been mobilized under the spell of mass formation psychosis, very astute leftists, I might add, has caused the right to be more motivated than ever to get out to the polls and take back control of the country from the rage crying blue hairs. This just in! Pretending a baby isn't a baby and then killing the baby might be a choice, but it certainly isn't a virtue. Hey! Did someone write this from their heart? This is disgusting. Some who believe they have jurisdiction over the Supreme Court of the United States don't like the possibility that the Supreme Court may overturn Roe versus Wade. So they've taken matters into their own hands by threatening the judges and protesting outside the homes of the judges, all in an effort to try to influence the judges to rule a different way. This just in, according to what's called the law, anyone is to face a year of imprisonment who has the intent of interfering with, obstructing, or impeding the administration of justice, or with the intent of influencing any judge, juror, witness, or court officer in pickets or parades in or near a court building or residence occupied by such judge, juror, witness, or court officer. So obviously trying to influence judges' rulings and protesting outside the homes of judges is a serious crime punishable with a year in prison. What is the White House doing to stop this? So I know that there's an outrage right now, I guess, about uh, protests that have been peaceful to date, and we certainly continue to encourage that outside of judges' homes, and that's the president's position. Oh, they're encouraging it. Another helpful way to build back better and help save democracy by destroying it. Speaking of destroying democracy, the maniac with a knife who attacked Dave Chappelle during a performance of the Hollywood Bowl will not be charged with a felony. The LA district attorney who refuses to do so is coincidentally backed by George Soros. The more crime, the better. And we wish the insurrectionists outside the judges' homes the best of luck in interfering with justice and in breaking the law. The more they get away with it, the more it sets a beautiful precedent for years to come. Back to the abortion front. What's Gavin Newsom have to say about it all? Well, he says it is a woman's right to choose. <laughs> Gavin, you screwed up, because remember, 
Your team says men are getting pregnant now too. So saying it's a woman's right to choose is discounting all the brave men out there who have fetuses killed too. But I understand the confusion. It's hard to keep conflicting pieces of propaganda straight when you're using the crooked narrative instead of truth. Now when we come back, we'll have a full update on from none other than Bill Gates himself. But first, a word from our sponsors. Do you ever worry that you'll die? Well, you definitely will. Just look around you. There's probably dead people in the room with you right now, and you're gonna be just like them, unless you use Vasanine. Vasanine is a first of its kind drug that has never gone through clinical trials. Its results are potentially so great that we've made it a crime to say anything otherwise. You will die without Vasanine. Get it now and disown your family and friends who don't use it. Vasanine, a drug that doesn't work, that you don't need to protect you from viruses that you don't have. Bill Gates and the FDA, two of the most trusted entities on the planet, who after two years of trying to scare you to death about are now saying the virus is no more severe than the flu. Huh. Here's what the world's least masculine man had to say about it. And then at that point, we didn't really understand the fatality rate. You know, we didn't understand that it's a fairly low fatality rate and that it's a disease mainly of the elderly, kind of like flu is, although a bit different than that. Can we get this little bastard censored? He is not towing the line of the narrative that he wrote. Now, just to be clear, the dim-witted people who came to the same conclusion two years ago are far-right extremist, science-denying nut jobs who just want you and everyone else around them to die. But Bill Gates, who took two years longer than everyone else to figure this out because he's either dumber or was lying the whole time, is an intelligent, honest medical authority who you should irrefutably listen to and obey every time he speaks and especially when he's wrong. According to this, Bill Gates got his degree in nothing and he got his medical training from nowhere. And with all his philanthropy efforts, he's out to help himself. Now let's tie in our top story of abortion with the man who when having sex with other men is always on the bottom, Bill Gates. But in this case, it's actually Bill Gates Sr., the husband of the lady who didn't abort Bill Jr. <laughs> what could have been? Now, Bill Gates Sr. was the head of Planned Parenthood, which achieved 354,000 abortions in 2020. And that doesn't even sound like genocide. Now, why was Papa Gates heavily involved in Planned Parenthood? Well, first, a little backstory. Bill Gates Sr. was a member of the American Eugenics Society. What's eugenics? Well, in short, they believe black people and minorities need to be gotten rid of. And technically, they believe that European ethnic groups such as Alpine and Nordic races are superior. But that's just according to the founder of the American Eugenics Society, Madison Grant. So it's probably just a conspiracy theory. But a more technical definition of eugenics is the study of improving the genetic composition of humans through the controlled reproduction of different races and classes of people. Which means the American Eugenics Society wants to reduce the population of minorities. Bill Gates Sr. is a member of that society. He becomes the head of Planned Parenthood and thus propagates the agenda of the American Eugenics Society to reduce the population of minorities. And that's all just a conspiracy theory because for that to be true, Planned Parenthood would have to target minority neighborhoods. This just in! Planned Parenthood puts 66% of its abortion facilities in minority neighborhoods. Oh, that's just a typo. It's 86%. Well, there's a perfectly good explanation for that, which will make a lot of sense if you're asleep. The reason why Planned Parenthood puts 86% of its abortion facilities in minority neighborhoods is because minorities make up the majority of people. So there's just more of them. And based on these facts, it would make sense if minorities made up 86% of all people, which they probably do. Atticus, look that up and see if it's true. It's not true. It's true. You heard it here first, folks. 
Given the very substantial history and facts, that Planned Parenthoods are intentionally placed in black neighborhoods and the organization was ran by a eugenicist, one could surmise that the underlying intention of Planned Parenthood is to reduce the black population. An objectively racist and genocidal thing hiding in plain sight. And those on the left who claim to be most out for racial equality are also the exact same people worshiping Planned Parenthood. Wouldn't it be funny, if not ironic, if not a tragedy, if they were being tricked to perpetuate the most heinous form of racism while thinking they're fighting racism? You'd have to have no self-awareness. Yeah, have that little bastard Because <laughs> for that to happen, it would require all day indoctrination through media propaganda. And it's not like people have much access to media nowadays. And if they did, it's not like they would believe it. In conclusion to this story, our narrative is that Bill Gates Sr.'s involvement in Planned Parenthood and eugenics can easily be explained away by saying he wasn't involved in either. Simple as that. Let's move on. Before we close tonight, you'll be relieved to hear that the CDC has been using location data from millions of phones to spy on Americans to see if they've been following COVID restrictions. Now the CDC didn't want you to know, but they were unfortunately forced to reveal this after a Freedom of Information Act request, which is kind of surprising to find out the CDC still obeys any laws. But you can use this as an opportunity for us to instruct you to feel more protected knowing that the CDC has been tracking you. It'll be great when things get hot enough with a frog in a pot of boiling water that they are keeping you in a cage for your protection. And if they have their way with you, which they already are, you'll be thanking your captors for protecting you in the cage. That's it for tonight's news, men. Quit thinking about Bill Gates' saggy tits or else you'll never get an erection to get yourself pregnant. And once you do, please enjoy an abortion. And if the mentally ill radical left doesn't get their way with Roe vs. Wade, we've got a fantastic looking civil war in our forecast. Good night! Real quick before you go, if you want to help make 1984 fiction again, you can check out this design and all the other designs in my Freedom Merch shop at awakenwithjp.com. And now a word from our sponsors. But first, some of my favorite things to grow in the summertime are watermelons, tomatoes, and cacao bliss. Cacao bliss is one of my absolutely favorite nutritious foods picked straight from my garden at earthechofoods.com slash JP Sears. Why? Because I love things that are nutritious, that give me more energy and boost my vitality, and I also love things that taste good. And Cacao Bliss accomplishes both. It's loaded with raw organic cacao. Can you say antioxidants? Turmeric. Can you say reduce inflammation and boost immunity? MCT oil. Can you say healthy fat? Lacuma. Can you say another antioxidant? And four additional superfoods all while tasting exquisitely delicious. And now I'm walking to appear to be a healthy, active person, and I want to let you know, I enjoy cacao bliss and nut milk, coffee blended into my smoothies, or just straight up in hot water. And if you wanna grow cacao bliss in your organic garden, head straight to earthechofoods.com slash JP Sears to get yours. And please use the discount code JP to get 15% off. Enjoy.